Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Material Basics in Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to introduce you the color and the preview window. What you'll be learning is to create and apply materials. We'll be working in the color channel, so we'll go through the color wheel, the color field, color picker, color image, RGB, HSV, and Kelvin. We'll also go over layers and noise, and we'll also go over the preview of materials with the size and change in object. In this Cinema 4D Material Basics, I set up a few objects in a scene. You could also use primitives if you want to use those instead. So to create a new material, you can go to down here to the Materials Manager, click on Create, and go to New Material. You can also double click in the Materials Manager, and that will also create a material. I'm going to create another one, and you can see the material that is highlighted in yellow or orange, orange is yellow. You can have the attributes that come up on this side of your screen in this palette. You can also double click on it uh, on the material, and it'll create a pop up for uh, all the attributes for your color, uh, excuse me, for your material. I'm going to delete this one and just work off of this one. Now you can uh, select a, a color, or excuse me, select the name, and when it's highlighted, you can type in a new, a new name. I'm just going to type in orange. Be using orange for some reason. Uh, so we're going to work off of color in this tutorial. So whatever channel that you have selected in orange will have attributes for it. And whatever's checked is what's active, which channel is active. And for applying the material, you can select, pull this into your Let's see, we'll do the barrel. So I'm going to apply that to the barrel and just drag the material right onto your object. You can also, let me undo, you can also, I'm going to move this over to the side for a second. You can select your material, click and drag, and drag it right into the viewport directly onto your object. So it's another way of applying. You also have a assignment down here at the bottom of your color channels. This tells you what objects are selected uh, that have your materials on, uh, on your objects. And you can also click and drag an object into this assignment to apply the material as well. I'm just going to undo. And I'm going to go back to color channel. We're going to focus pretty much this entire video on the color channel. And we have a block here for the color. And if you click on that, you get a color picker. It's pretty much everything that we have here uh, down in your material editor. So I'm just going to cancel that. Now we have this little button here, it's compact, and now we'll open up your, uh, open up to a color field where you can choose a color, and just click and drag and choose a color here. And I'm just gonna grab sort of an orange. Now I'm gonna click the compact, and over to this next icon, we have a color wheel. We can choose colors here that way if you're a little bit more comfortable choosing colors. We have our color field again and you can choose a hue. A little bit more orange. And next to that we have a image that you can load in. I loaded in an image already and you can click on here to go to your file and choose a photo that you want to use. I have this color PSD. And what you can do is you can move this little 
knot, this little um, circle that can go over each color that you want to choose. And then you can click this plus arrow and it's going to add another one. And you can see down here that we have our colors right at the bottom. And you can choose another one. You can delete your previous one or you can choose, uh, click this X and that will delete all of those. Moving on to RGB, and I'm just gonna click on this uh, icon to close the um, uh, choose from photo. And we have RGB, that's red, green, blue, and that gives us the mix of what we want for our color. A lot of times you might have uh, specific coordinates uh, that you can type in to get a specific color. We have HS HSV, excuse me, uh, that stands for hue, saturation, and value. And we have our hue here, our saturation level, and value, which is the brightness, so either bright or dark. Now we have K over here, which is Kelvin. And that's normally uh, the temperature that we would use for lights. So a lot of times you'll have a specific number that you want to use for, for lighting. And each, uh, each different type of light, you know, incandescent or LED, would have a different value that you would enter here for your temperature. And we have uh, a mix. And we also have swatches. And you can create new ones. You can uh, create a new group. You can also double click. Or you could load something that you've had from a previous project. Now load in those, those colors. And we also have a eyedropper. And if you click on that, you can go to anywhere on your viewport or on your screen to choose a color. I'm going to go back to orange. Now, moving on, I'm going to uh, click our little uh, compact here. And actually, we can just uh, leave this color at orange, maybe a little darker of an orange. Uh, but we also have our brightness. And we also have the ability to add in a texture. If you click on this, you can load an image. And that will add in a, uh, an image into your material. And we have a bunch of these different options. We have color for now, gradient, noise. And a lot of times you want to add in noise. And for an example, I'll click on this. And this will give you the ability to, uh, let me step back. If you click on this image here, this noise, you can also click on here, gives you the same thing. And you can go up a level by Choosing, uh, pressing this button, I'll bring you up to the next level. Okay, I'm just going to undo. Now we also have a few different options. We have layer that is also pretty useful. If you click on layer, you'll notice that we now have a few different buttons that we can choose from. If you go to shader, we have similar to what we had in our texture for color. And you can add in, say, a color. And we'll add our, add our orange back in. And if you click on this arrow, you can go up a next level. And you can choose shader again and choose, say, noise. And similar to Photoshop, we have a few color modes. 
and that will layer upon our color. And you can also dial back the opacity so the noise layers upon that color a little bit more. We can dial that up or dial that back. And so I'm just going to go up a level. And I'm just going to clear this. Now, we do have a few other options, um, but I want to bring your attention to the preview window. Because that's something we haven't talked about yet. When you, uh, you, when you're applying your color, a lot of times it's very useful to have this preview window. And if you right click on that, you'll have a few different options which to view your, your material in the preview window. Uh, you can open this window and resize it. Just keep in mind the larger that you make this, the longer render time it will take especially as you get some more complex uh, colors and shaders. And you can also choose the uh, different size. We have small. And you'll notice that that also changes in your window over here. And medium, large, and back to huge. Now we have a few different objects we can use. A lot of times it's, it's very useful to look at your material in a different object. So we have our cube and right on down through. We also have things like a knot, which will be very helpful to see uh, different objects as it, uh, as, as it works with your materials. Torus, double torus. Now, you can also right click to move the object. So right click and drag will allow you to move the object within your preview. So that can be helpful to kind of see how that looks. We also have a few different like shadows. You can look at how a shadow looks. So that's, that's also pretty helpful as well. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.